Hi boys and girls, greetings. It's good to meet uh, online like this and to talk about Jesus. Just an encouragement to all of you boys and girls. Uh, you remember a few weeks ago we talked about just talking to the Lord all the time. I hope you are praying. I hope you are talking to the Lord every day. I hope you are hiding God's word in your heart that you may not sin against God. It's important, boys and girls, for us to do that, okay? You want to stay connected to the Lord, okay? It's good vibe. So connect to the Lord, talk to Him, um, whatever it is you want to talk to Him, do that every day. And um, the last few weeks we've been talking about being uh, young boys and girls who talk about Jesus Christ, the good news. Um, we are starting on something uh, for the next four weeks. Um, we're going to find that in the book of Ezra. But before we do that, let's just talk to the Lord. Lord, I want to thank you for every boy and every girl who's listening to me. I thank you for their lives. I thank you for where they are. Lord, I pray that you continue to talk to them. When they pray, thank you, Lord, for answering their prayers. We thank you for this time in Jesus' name. Amen. So, boys and girls, uh, let's go to the book of Ezra, <clears throat> uh, chapter 1. There is a time many, many years ago, uh, 605 BC, that's before Christ, the children of Israel became mischievous disobeyed God, they turned away from the faith, uh, they did not obey the commandments. If it was like today, it's like you, you have been walking with Jesus and you decide, ah, no, 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 I'm not going to continue doing what Jesus says. So they turned away and um, the city of Jerusalem was invaded by people who took those children of Israel away to some place and they were there for 70 years. But the Lord had made a promise through someone called Isaiah, one of the prophets, that uh, the Lord would not forget them. He would bring them back after 70 years. Uh, so let's just start that's where we are starting in Ezra chapter 1 um, what God had promised is beginning to happen and interestingly um, this promise that they were going to be taken back to Jerusalem from exile um, is happening through somebody who didn't even believe in the Lord so it doesn't matter sometimes the Lord can work through non-believers for whatever he wants to do for you. <laughs> so, yeah, let, let's listen to this. Ezra chapter 1. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia. This guy was not a Christian if it was today so that he made a proclamation throughout all the kingdom and also put it in writing. Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, the Lord, the God of heaven, is not a believer, but he knows, <laughs> has given me all the kingdoms of the earth and he has charged me to build him a house at Jerusalem which is in Judah. Whoever is among you of all his people, may his God be with him. And let him go up to Jerusalem, with, which is in Judah, and rebuild the house of the Lord, the God of Israel. He is the God who is in Jerusalem. And let each survivor in whatever place he saw Jones. He assisted by the men of his place with silver and gold and the goods, the beasts, 
besides free will um, offering of the house of God that is in Jerusalem. Uh, so then rose up the heads of the fathers of the house of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and the Levites, everyone whose spirit God had stayed to go up to rebuild the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. And all who were about were aided with vessels of silver, gold, goods, beasts, and costly ways. All these things were necessary to go and rebuild the house of the Lord, the temple back in Jerusalem. So the king has just given a declaration that those children of Israel who were in the foreign land in exile, so people should give them all these things to go back and build the temple. Now, there is another portion of scripture I want to read. Um, this is in um, Isaiah 43. But now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you, O Israel. The one who formed you says, do not be afraid. For I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you go through the deep waters, listen this to this, boys and girls, I will be with you. When you go through the rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt as a ransom for your freedom. I gave Ethiopia and Serbia in your place. I can go on and read this portion of scripture. But boys and girls, um, you may be going through a very difficult time. For the children of Israel, being in exile, being in this foreign land, it was not easy. Not able to worship because they were taken away. They were no longer in Jerusalem where the temple was. It had been destroyed. But the Lord remembered his promise. He is a promise keeper. He is a faithful God. Men can make promises. I'm sure I told you before, moms and dads make promises. And they break some of them. Friends make promises and they break them. You have made promises. I will do this. I will clean this. I'll collect my toys. And you have not done it. God is not like that. He keeps his promises. Now, if he is saying, I will, I will be with you when you go through all these difficulties, you think when he promised the children of Israel that after 70 years, you go back. <laughs> he did it. He started doing it. If you continue with Ezra as we are going to do this whole month, the Lord made it possible for these guys to go back. They had sinned. They disobeyed God. But the Lord, because he loved them, he, although, the Bible even says, even when we become faithless, it does not mean the Lord will become faithless like you and me. No. He remains faithful. He's a faithful God. Maybe Boys and girls, some of you may have yeah, disobeyed, went AWOL, come back. The Lord still cares for you. It doesn't matter what difficulty, it doesn't matter what you are going through according to Isaiah 43. He cares for you. So he kept his promise for the children of Israel these guys went back 
and the idea was um, for Ezra so, so that the relationship <laughs> the relationship between these guys who had disobeyed God would be restored the temple could be built that's what the Lord wanted he wanted to have a relationship with these people again back in the land where the promises had been made the Lord has made lots of promises for you and he keeps them. When the Lord Jesus went away, he says, I will send the Comforter, the Holy Spirit. You think he didn't? He did. And he cares for you. He comforts you. He will meet your needs. He will provide for you. Doesn't matter. You can use uh, believers and non-believers. In this case, he used a, a non-believer. <laughs> to get the children to get all this gold and whatever so that they can go back and use those things to build the temple. So the resources were required so that the temple can be built. And he used a non-believer. I believe this in my heart, boys and girls, that when the Lord makes a promise and says, I will be with you always, that's the truth. He's a faithful God. He is a promise keeper. You can trust him that he keeps his word. He will not go against what his word says. He will fulfill it. So those promises that God has made for you, he loves you. He cares for you. He's not going to suddenly turn away and say, it doesn't matter what you are going through. I mean, you may be going through fire right now difficulties, not enough food, this, not enough school fees, issues, problems with accommodation, mom and dad not relating well or relatives not relating well. Lift up your hands to the Lord. Go down on your knees. It doesn't matter what your age is. You can move things through prayer. Talk to the Lord who is able to do exceedingly abandoned above that we can think or imagine. God is able to do it. So I'm challenging you boys and girls that if the Lord could keep the promise in Ezra what he had promised that he was going to do for the children of Israel he can do it for you. You just need to talk to him. You just need to hear his voice. So what, what is it? <laughs> What is it that you're going through? Talk to the Lord. The Lord is a promise keeper. He is faithful. He is faithful. You know, there's a song uh, we used to sing many years ago. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, unto me. I know God is faithful. I know God answers prayer. I know God keeps his promises. So let's talk to him. Let's take those things that we think are impossible, that we think there's no solution. You think the children of Israel, for 70 years, they were going through all this pain. They couldn't worship God. They were in strange places. But look what the Lord has just done. Tended, kept his promise going back he can do that for you if you go down in Ezra chapter 1 it even lists who went back what did they get father I thank you in the name of Jesus there could be boys and girls who are listening to me right now Lord they are going through fire but you just said in um, Isaiah 43 that they will not be bent. They could be going through rivers and you just said they will not drown. I pray for them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you rescue them. Thank you, Lord, that you said in your word you never leave nor forsake them. That they don't need to be afraid. So I pray for them that, Lord, answer their prayers come to their rescue 
in the name of Jesus. If you rescued these children of Israel, you can do it for these boys and girls. Thank you, Lord, for doing it. Love you and bless your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you, boys and girls. Have a super week. In Jesus' name. Amen.